Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. How are you? I just thought I'd pop on here to answer a question that bubbles up all the time whenever we are running our Breakthrough the Money Seeming Masterclass. Welcome. Welcome. I'm going to talk about collapsing timelines and how to do it. If you are new to me, my name is Louisa Havers and I help entrepreneurs and coaches to break through their upper limits in life, get that alignment in business, move through all the emotional stickiness that can bubble up when we're growing our businesses. If it's your first time catching me live, hello, <laughs> nice to meet you. If you've been in our world for a while, then thank you so much for being here. Of course, if you're watching the replay, thank you for being here too. Hello. <laughs> I wanted to touch on personal timelines and how to collapse them because it is one of the biggest questions that we get asked in our masterclasses. We've just run our Breakthrough the Money Ceiling Masterclass last week. We do have the replays up there for the next couple of days if you'd like to, to dive in. Um, let me know. We'll get the, the link over to you. And one of the questions that comes up, and it often comes up, of course, when the manifestation hasn't shown up or we feel like things should be moving faster. Does that resonate? Has anyone had that experience? We're like, why hasn't it happened yet? So who would love to understand how to master and to collapse timelines? I'm thinking of, someone asked the question in a post I put earlier about collapsing timelines. Say, what is that? So think of future timelines as paths that you are, a path that you're currently on and options to go onto different paths, different timelines. So let me know in the comments, if you are like, yes, I am ready to collapse timelines. I'd love to know how to collapse timelines. That'd be fantastic. This is what we are gonna be diving into today. Cause I want you to feel empowered by the reality that you can, you can do this. So just to give you a bit of, bit of context, we always have an infinite number of future timelines within our potential ranging across the vibrational scale. So we've got timelines that are of, you know, lower vibration, the ego led, these default timelines are in line with current fear patterns that are running any sort of old 3D programming, old, old paradigms that are no longer serving you. Fear-based, contracted, and then we have going up the vibrational scale, increasing up to higher timelines that are in alignment with our soul purpose, within our divine alignment. And the thing that has the, the biggest effect on which one we're defaulting to is what we're holding in our human Wi-Fi. So as you're joining us, do say hello. Let me know that you're there. So what we hold in our human Wi-Fi includes old timelines, which includes old experiences, previous traumas, memories, beliefs, emotions, our ancestral patterns and their timelines all coming together, making up our identity across all the different roles that we play in life. Mother, father, husband, wife, business owner, daughter, son. We have so many different roles, don't we? And so many different identities within those within our parts of our lives. So if you think of these as energetic cords that are holding us back and then locking us into a default timeline that we're moving forward. So we're energetically, think of it as being energetically tethered to our unresolved past with these unhealed timelines. And then this has a direct impact on this now moment and future moments, future now moments. So in any given present moment, so present now moment, where you're manifesting from one presence to the next present moment. You have this, these infinite number of timelines available to you. And that whole array of infinite number of possible timelines that you could connect into when you move from one moment to the next. With a range of vibrational frequencies. So you've got the full range. You can go choose the more dense timelines or you can move your way up to the higher timelines. So then, the lower timelines, this is where your ego is leading, your beliefs that used to serve you, that you are creating those timelines 
and now creating results that you don't want. So this will feel like this is where people talk about, oh, I know I'm self-sabotaging. What's going on? So these are old paradigms that are running. Anything that's attached to that, that lower vibrational density. So those thoughts and emotions and beliefs. And what happens is when we start to release all that energy and that programming, we move all the way up to the higher timelines that are aligned with your, your soul purpose with higher vibrational thoughts and beliefs. So this is moving towards your, your highest timeline. So in any given moment, any time that you're manifesting from now to your, to your next now, you're connecting into a timeline in your future of potentiality. And that's got that range all the way up to the highest timeline of flow, ease, joy, and impact. That's what we want to be, to have as our ideal timeline our highest timeline to be our default point. And the great news is there's some specific things that we can do. So if you take a moment and close your eyes and imagine you're facing forward in your life with an entire array, array of possible timelines that are available to you. And you can see them all branching out in front of you. The reason that you don't automatically default to your highest timeline is because of the past timelines that are pulling you back through your memory, through trauma held within the body, through energetic beliefs, thoughts, patterns, unconscious programming. So as you're standing there looking ahead, you can also see behind you these timeline cords that are holding you back and making it more difficult for you to be able to to choose to align yourself and move forward through to your most aligned divine timeline, your highest timeline. Does that make sense? But this is why when I'm working with my clients or when I'm teaching our Helix Method mentors how to collapse timelines, we work with the past timelines, the present and the future timelines. We've got an incredible technique to do this really, really quickly. And depending on how many of these past timelines of events of trauma, past relationships, that are you know not resolved holding on to old memories of wounds unconscious programming that then comes about as a result of us holding on to all these things creating more and more density around that these are all these timelines that are lowering lowering your vibrational frequency moving forward because they're holding an energetic charge and so they're slowing down your path to what you desire and so you're defaulting to a lower density timeline does that make sense and we can see, of course, you know, what's, what timeline we're on by what's going on in our reality. So we can see if we're choosing higher timelines and when we start to jump timelines and go on to higher timelines. Or if we're in a timeline that's showing us that there are the traumas and the energies to be healed and transmuted. Because as you're changing the energetic charge in your past and heal these timelines and heal the events, you let go of that energetic connection you free up more of your energy to be in this now moment to be have more of you in that flow state so you're raising your vibration and as you change the energy around around you in relation to all these past experiences you stop all the energy leaks the momentum starts to build you'll start to notice that you're able to manifest more quickly your vibration is is raising up and so you're jumping onto new timelines and as you heal and collapse the energy of that old timeline you release it not only for yourself, but everybody involved. And so that it's not impacting your future choices anymore. So anywhere we're thinking about business, we talked about money last week. So anywhere you're holding on to any past financial traumas, whether it's old bankruptcy or old business decisions, business decisions that didn't perhaps pan out that you wanted them to, or you know you're feeling like I'm in a holding pattern where, you know, never quite accomplishing the goals I set out for myself. We're living out an old timeline in that current moment and it impacts the decisions we make, the actions we take, the timeline that we're on. So of course the results that we have. And that's why when my clients work with me, we dive deep into this work. They start having 60K months with more ease and grace than they've had before because we collapse the timeline. And there's some specific energetic techniques that we do around this. And the Helix Method mentors that we train have clients having 16K months after having no business for months before. And, and so much more, so many examples. So by changing the, the programming in your brain and your vibrational frequency, by changing your relationship with your past, you're changing your 
human Wi-Fi, as I call it, that message that you're sending out to the universe. You're stopping the energy leaks. You're allowing yourself to increase your capacity. So you're sending out a more congruent message to the universe. You then change your timeline. You're, ti you're opting to choose on to moving on to higher vibrational timelines. I find this so exciting because as you do your energy healing alignment and manifesting work in this moment, you're changing past timelines and future timelines, which is why if you want to live at your highest potential and to choose your highest timeline, doing the inner work to change your identity, your healing of past experiences, your manifesting is, is the most important action that you can take so that you can have the life that you want to live, whether it's you know having the love that you want in your life making the impact that you want in your life and business, that timeline, allowing yourself to receive more love and money, choosing that timeline, optimizing your health. It truly impacts all areas, all areas of life. So as you're doing your inner work, your vibration raises, and that impacts those around you, that we truly rise together. So I'd love to know what light bulbs you're having, what's landing for you as I'm sharing this. And if you would like my help in collapsing timelines for yourself or teaching your clients how to collapse timelines so that they can choose a higher timeline then pop me a message because we're enrolling into our programs right now and we can have a chat and take it from there i'll circle back later to see uh, if there's any questions and to dive into your comments sending you lots and lots of love take care bye bye